On top of my job uh, as the deputy metro editor who ran a team of investigative reporters, they they asked me to, uh, at the time to join uh, a newly created uh, team that covered race uh, in this country. <laughs> and and, and that's uh, it was in the context of that. Uh, I was mostly there as an editor. I edited Rachel Swarns, who was uh, uh, one of the reporters on, on that team. Um, she did some amazing reporting about uh, Georgetown uh, and how uh, it was sort of founded, uh, uh, the sale of some uh, of of some slaves uh, uh, by Georgetown more than a century ago helped keep the the university alive, and that that became a real uh, big story. So I was mostly there as an editor, but I was part of a lot of sort of creative brainstorming around you know how to write about race and 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 in different ways. And so what had happened. In this instance, was this thing happened to me, and I started to tweet about it, and it was starting to sort of generate this reaction. And then my editor, well, the team, the guy who ran the team, and I were sort of talking about should I write something, and and he he was the one who suggested writing that this as this open letter. But the the context is when we initially started this team, there was a little bit of discussion of like, do we this was this team was started in that period of post Ferguson and the police shootings and and uh, when race relations were really fraught in this country, particularly, you know, around the the issue of blacks in this country. <clears throat> and we had some discussions of like, OK, do we cover ethnicity in, in terms of Asian Americans, Latinos, like or do we concentrate on on the black white issue? And the initial actually, uh, what I remember is the initial sort of focus was on the black white issue, in part because that's where we were, you know, as a country. And and I would say, obviously, in that is that issue is so much more <coughs> fraught because it comes with this sort of history going back to you know slavery, to be honest, and 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 uh, and it's sort of continuing sort of affects you know the years uh, post Reconstruction to to uh, redlining, to like all these sort of effects that the, uh, everything that happened with in terms of black-white issues are freighted with that history. The, the issue with, the, with Asian Americans, though, is does not come with that history and power dynamic, I think, issue as so much. And, and the issue with Asian Americans really relates to this foreignness, this sort of other sort of aspect that you sort of talked about and that I talked about in that uh, open letter, this feeling of like, will we ever sort of feel like we belong?